Howdy folks, last week we did the X-Tool. My favorite laser engraver machine right now. This this baby is, you know, wow, I'm, I'm liking it, you know. They have a really nice uh, software package that you can download for free at X-Tool that will run this machine for you. It's kind of basic, but it just makes life so much easier. And they also, I noticed on that software, they have rotary. So today, I guess we're gonna take and uh, see if we can tackle the rotary. X-Tool sent me over the pro kit they've got here. That's the, uh, ah, this one right here. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I, I'm gonna whip the box open and we'll see what we have. We're gonna talk about a little bit about the rotary because there's a lot of features involved with the rotary. It's not just like some of the other ones out there. This one has, uh, a lot more features. It also kind of reminds me of a wood lathe looking at the picture there right now. <laughs> Let's get this uh, opened up on the bench. We'll take a look at it and then we'll see if we can get the whole thing together. And I'm, I guess we're going to see if we can do some rotary uh, engraving today with their software. Uh, I'm going to use the basic simple software that they offer because really that's where we all should start is on the basics and just get you know a feel for the machine and what it's going to be able to do and things. So uh, this is going to be, uh, well, and another adventure today. Oh yeah, here we go. Well, let's see, how am I doing? I was in the middle of uh, opening these boxes up and I thought, man, I gotta share this with the guys because there is just so much here that's so cool. But the small box, I opened that up first and this is what was in here. And what these are is uh, small pipes that fit for the feet on the machine. So you can raise it up this level or double them up and raise it up even higher on the machine in order to get up over top. So. You know, and they're nice, uh, you know, like feels like uh, like an anodized aluminum uh, pipe. So you've got two sets of these, which will help you to extend the machine up so that you can sleeve them like this and get the machine up that much more height in order to get over top of like, a in this case, a rotary machine. So that is an awesome uh, little feature that uh, is offered by X-Tool. So X-Tool sort of like really thinks the whole thing out. Where am I gonna uh, put these over here for a second? The rotary machine itself has uh, several different types, I guess you could say uh, power heads here with a drive belt. Plus we have the actual rotary here, which I'm just gonna lay that out with the rollers and you get quite a few tools with it, of course. And there's your really nice soft uh, rollers with your stepper motor. Uh, let's do it that way. That way it uh, looks a little better. Wow, I don't like the camera angle, but yeah, so there's the actual rotary part of this uh, deal. And again, you could adjust these to, you know, whatever your needs are, depending on how round it is or whatever. And they also have a ton of accessories uh, even keep a little rubber cap to help support everything so that everything stays in place while you rotate it. If you're not going to use these rollers, you have this like lathe, almost like power head device that will help to, you know, hold something round or in this case, well, cylindrical in, the, in place on the rotary system so that you can engrave whatever it is. So you really have a lot of different tools that come with the system that are in the box here. Uh, we've also got another attachment here and again this one's a little different again with two extra rollers that you can set if you need it for support for when you're rotating a, a round item. X-Tool just like I said they just seem to take the cake on this thing if you're gonna get into a real pro type machine I guess the X-Tool is basically about it they have all these nif nifty little uh, extras for the lathe I, well the lathe for the for the uh, chuck head for the power head like this where you can you know grab onto something and lock it in and then that way you can rotate that item there's just so many different accessories it's crazy and they even have a little level machine here a little leveler that you can put in the machine so that way when you're laying everything up you can make sure that everything is level like it should be so i just i had to share this with you before we get this uh, setup going so i've got another box here from x tool that uh is a material box and I've got to show you there's a really cool material box pro with uh really some really nice instructions here on again engraving plus you've got like a metal a really nice quality couple of metal uh, money clips you've got a little uh, looks like keychains or uh also uh, some medallion type metal items got a long stack of uh, wood 
like key type things that you can uh, label. There's uh, probably, I don't know, there's about, looks like about 50 in there roughly. Uh, also these little square blocks, not quite sure. I guess you could make dominoes or dragon dice or something out of that. There's also some really, really tiny ones. Again, some small square blocks. And then you've got this little, uh, it's a uh, holder for like a business card. So there's a full feature of things. Plus, uh, for some reason, there's a little stamp thing in here. I haven't really got an idea as to how the devil that works. But you've also got samples underneath that of uh, leathers and uh, fabrics and materials, plastics. Uh, this thing is just loaded. Oh, and uh, don't forget the good old, if you haven't seen that before, it's like a chunk of uh, wood that you can engrave on to put your business name on. This is more like if you had a business and you wanted to sort of decorate everything uh, from uh, business cards on through to keychains and whatever, it's got a ton of stuff right here that you can make. And this is their uh, material box. It is really, really cool. Again, this is all from X Tools. Wow, you know, cool stuff. All right, let's set that set up and see if we can't do something around. So it's, uh, it took about a couple of minutes to put the feet on. We fully extended up to the maximum height, put the uh, roller uh, attachment underneath, plugged it into the uh, motherboard that comes on the X-Tool, and then using the very basic program for rotary, uh, went ahead and set up a well, Coffee and Tools logo on this round uh, drink. Just to show you, like 10, 15 minutes, and I've got this thing working, and it's I uh, using I'm using the blue tape of course it's like a test first before we actually burn something in but it's already coming out exactly the way I set it up and it's doing the rotary thing and it's burning so this laser this whole setup like I said it might cost you a little more but you are looking at quality and an easy thing to you you know an easy piece of equipment to work with and it sets up look at 10 15 minutes and I'm uh, I'm doing rotary the other machines that have been in here, their rotaries have been absolute nightmares to set up. You have to take your time. This thing is just whizzing right through it, and their software just makes it easy for a beginner to say, get started, get going, and do rotary stuff right away. 15 minutes setup time. Man, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> we did this, of course, like I said, on the blue tape. Copy and tools. There you go. Wow. This is what makes this machine so definitely awesome worth it. Oh my God, yeah. Now, I will say this, I probably should have turned the laser down. Yeah, oops, uh, I had her turned up a little high, so she, it's probably on the metal. So let's take the blue tape off and see how uh, how much went right through. Oh yeah, she, well, uh, yeah, she did, she went through. <laughs> so. Turn the laser down when you do this, okay? <laughs> yeah, it definitely, yeah, gets engraved right through to coffee and tools right on through, so. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I think I'll leave the blue dots in the center. Can't see that real good because it's black, whatever, against a piece of metal. But uh, look at the tool thing there. Isn't that, isn't that cool? That's what just makes this machine so exciting because it's just so darn easy to use and their software can work with it and get you the basics of get you up and running without all the screwing around. Hey, we have a draw today, you know. We need to get over to the other table and get the draw going and shut this down for now. As much as uh, I have to admit, I do enjoy this one. This one is my favorite baby. Oh, yes. Hmm. All right. Okay, so we're at the table and we're going to have a draw. The draw. The draw for the Arthur. Arthur. Laser Master 2, S2, I'm reading it off the box over here. Also, there's a roller kit, and the roller kit, I'm going to package that in a small box, uh, and it, that way you'll get, you'll actually get two boxes, so just tell you right now. And uh, by the way, Tom, who won last week, uh, your package, you'll probably get it Saturday. I forgot about Memorial Day for some reason and we couldn't ship on Monday and it was like oh so okay so anyways you will see it uh, Saturday they tell me but okay good got some cool stuff in got a they yeah, have CNC router oh I can't wait to get that bad boy rolling we'll break it and also I'm doing uh, two PCs uh, the PC thing I'm only gonna do probably one show about that we're doing a cheap gaming machine and we're gonna do a, I guess you could say a 
an inexpensive game machine that will go to high end or decent resolution. So that ought to be an interesting build. Uh, there's a lot of young kids out here that think this old guy can't doesn't know how to work a iPhone or something. So yeah, so I think they'd be surprised at the, what we can do, right, guys? Yeah. Uh, that includes, I've even uh, repaired ham radios at one time, you know, so there you go. Anyway, tickets, 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 lots of tickets, and we need a wee, uh, we need a wiener. Oh, man, look at this mess. Okay, let's see if we, oops, find a wiener back in the hole here. Uh, let's see what we got here, and it is, wow, I haven't seen this address before, so it might be a new viewer. William. And you are in Salado, Texas, which, man, that's a first. We have had nobody, or yeah, we have. We did have a winner, uh, somebody in Texas a while back. So, yeah, cool. William in Salado, Texas. I won't give the rest of the name away, but I used to go to school with that name. <laughs> but uh, congratulations, William. And we'll be shipping that out to you Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll be getting it out to you by, by Monday of next week, so I've got to find another box for the rest of that stuff, but we will send it all over to you. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for you know putting their name in the draw for this item, and hang on, we have another laser. Oh, we do. And this one here, uh, let me get the laser over to you, and we can discuss this whole situation. But in the meantime, congratulations, William. And now, for... This will not be next Thursday. It will be the second Thursday from now. That is, it'll be 14 days from today. We will draw for this next laser uh, that we need to leave. Uh, I kind of like to keep it, but again, it's, you know, like I said, policy. We did a review about it. It's probably my second favorite laser for engraving. It's a very good machine. I really did like it. We're going to take it apart, box it up, and we'll have it. But... The reason we're not doing a draw next week is uh, I've got some people coming in from out of town. Also got a nasty appointment with a dentist for some work. Ooh. And uh, so it's going to be a busy week. I also have uh, two releases. We will have videos next week. We just will not have a draw until the Thursday after that. And so I'll show you what we're drawing for so we can put this together. Let me go get it. So here it is. Ah, uh, yes. The longer Ray 5. We were holding on to this machine because we were told that Longer was going to be shipping us a uh, stronger 20 watt laser for the head for doing projects, for engraving, cutting, whatever. And they said, uh, estimated May, that they would send the, uh, the new laser head over to us. It hasn't shown and I haven't had any further contact or comp, you know, comments from the company other than, you know, yeah, we're working on it or something. So I was hanging on to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart, we'll baggy up this hardware like we did with all the other ones, and we'll put this back in its original box, and we'll be drawing for this one. Now, let's uh, separate the draw. No, actually, we don't have to. Yep, the, the, the whole thing is cleaned out. So how do we get in on that? Okay, you send an email in order to win this. That's all you got to do, send an email. And the address, I'm going to stand over here. I'll put it right over there to ctrewards at gmx.com. Now, in the subject line of your email, just put laser, L-A-S-E-R, nothing to it, right? And then in the body of the letter, just your name and address, as if you were doing a return address on a postal letter, something like that. That's all we want. We don't want any more than that. If it's bigger and badder than that or whatever, a lot of times the girl in the office will hit the delete button and you're gone. You're out of there. So, uh, we didn't have too much trouble this time around, which I'm surprised, but I think we had, uh, yeah, we had one entrant that did not include his state. Uh, we had one entrant, one entry that was like, uh, he had the same address but a different name over and over again. That doesn't cut it. Uh, you know, we, my gal will catch stuff like that and we'll flag it and just say, what do we all do? We'll just delete because they're trying to get around or something. One item, you know, it's just a one item thing. It's a laser and uh, one entry per household and hope everybody you know jump in there and enter because 
there's no telling who's going to win. I sure didn't think, I didn't even see anybody named William and Salado. You know, I didn't even see that entry in there, but it was hundreds. So, you know, a lot of stuff goes by on the office to where we make the tickets. This is uh, going to be a lot of uh, fun too. And this is a nice machine. I don't even know the market value right now. I have no idea, but it's uh, going to be shipped with all the goodies that came with it. And you will have yourself really my second favorite because it has this nice touch screen and it also includes a little bit of software with it where you can actually run three burns uh, of pre-recorded you know uh, engraving that you can just hit the button so what a great thing so just like i said just write that to cnt rewards at gmx.com just your name and address that's all we're after and uh, contest open one per household wherever i don't care where you live and we will get this in the meantime. Now, that will be not next Thursday. It'll be the Thursday after that because we're sort of having, I guess we'll even call it a little bit of a, maybe a mental day. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll be working on some projects. We've got a lot coming up, a lot going on. Also got, you know, some goodies over here that are stacked back there behind that box. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for entering the drawing we just finished with, and hopefully everybody will jump in and, hey, try to get yourself the Ray 5. The Ray 5 is a good machine. Oh, yes, it's a, it's a nice machine. And uh, meantime, this is Coffee and Tools, and I'm over and out. <laughs>